Hey, this is Jeff from DBZ Diamond, and you're watching Diamond TV, and we're here to do a product rundown today on one of our brand new 2013 models, the Bolero EX in trans purple. This is one of my favorite guitars on the line. It's one that I'm most pleased about how it came out. Really a particular favorite. For those of you who know and who have been DBZ fans already, you know that the Bolero is a staple of the line. The Bolero is one of the lines that built this company. Very classic shape, classic design, with a whole modern feel to it, a modern twist to it, and a little punchier. The EX fits right in with what we did with the 2013 models in that we look to punch up the guitars a little bit. Some new colors, new configurations, make everything a little hotter, a little more unique, a little neater, and the EX is a great example of that. For those of you who are interested in Bolero model, we have a Bolero compilation video that's going to take you through each of the Bolero models and describe the differences to help you refine down to the particular one that you're interested in. Uh, several different breakdowns of each of the series as well, including the FMs, the EX, the AB Plus, the FM Plus, even the, uh, the LTs, the ABs. So really good videos for you to go check out as we continue to populate the video board with new stuff in the 2013 models. Now let's turn our attention to this baby right here. Again, this is the Bolero EX in Trans Purple. For my opinion, what a stunning guitar. Let's take a look at this one up close and personal. So, before we talk about the finish, let's talk about what this guitar is. Very, as I mentioned earlier, very classic shape, suitable for all kinds of music, all kinds of applications, just depending on how you want to dress it up and how you want to make it work for you. Very customary body style, as well as you, as you notice what's been customary for DBZ. Right here you notice the three-dimensional cuts in the body, so you can you know, have the kind of layered effect, the 3D designs that we've become known for. A uh, really cool one in this case, in the case of the Bolero body shape. This particular one is a bound body as well. You'll notice the cream binding that goes all the way around the body, as well as having the fingerboard bound on both sides. So you get a real nice feel to the fingerboards. Uh, always good to have binding on it, really kind of a top rate dressed up feature. So this one is a mahogany body. As you know, mahogany is one of the superior woods for guitars. And this one happens to have a bird's eye maple top. I think a number of us have seen bird's eye maple on necks before. We use flame maple and quilt maple on the bodies. Uh, with this one we decided to use a bird's eye maple top as well. So you can see the grain patterns in the wood. You can see you know, the bird's eyes from the grain itself in a stunning trans purple really one of my favorite colors that we do this particular trans purple you notice it's got a black burst on it as well so you can see the purple bursting into the black edge all the way around the guitar neat little upgraded feature along with the transparent purple so let's look at what the features are here the Bolero EX being one of the top of the line guitars we have comes with the volume control for your pickups obviously tone control and coil tap for those of you who want to have the option of having a humbucker or single coil sound as you know the coil tap pop it split the coils on the pickups and you get that nice single coil sound pickup selector up here three position switch bridge all the way forward is the neck and in the middle is split between bridge and neck to give you those nice in between clean tones really neat feature we use a stop tail design that's customary on some of our guitars, along with a tunematic bridge. Good solid combination for a guitar of this nature. For electronics, we uh, this comes equipped with Seymour Duncans. Now, not your average Seymour Duncan either. These have the Seymour Duncan DBZ Diamond DD1 whole shot bridge pickup and the Seymour Duncan DBZ Diamond four-stroke neck pickup. That's the DD1 and the DD5. These pickups were actually designed by myself and Seymour Duncan. And Seymour Duncan manufactures them for us right here in the USA where they put out all their other pickups and supply us these pickups for certain of our models which are only available on DBZ Guitars OEM. So when you have this with the DD1 here in the bridge position, it gives you a really, really unique sound. This takes a couple of different things that I've liked over pickups over the years and combines them, 
eliminates some things I didn't like about pickups and turns it into the DD1. That would include, I wanted it to have a nice full bottom end, but it doesn't need to be, um, doesn't need to be loose on the bottom end. We want a nice tight feel to the bottom end. We want a decent smooth feel to the pickup, but we still need it to growl and bite at us rather than being oversaturated. We want a nice even EQ going across it. Same thing here. So you get nice even tones across the pickup with nothing too high or too harsh and a nice warm sound to it instead of being too edgy, but a very high output pickup at that. And the, the DD5 four-stroke neck pickup, very classic design, similar based off of sort of the original 59 designs, a really nice warm round pickup. So it's a mahogany body, again with a bird's eye maple top. So the back of the guitar is going to be mahogany. The neck's going to be mahogany. You can see a nice good tailored neck joint here and a good solid cutaway to get access to the upper of those 22 frets on this guitar. Custom DBZ inlays, as I mentioned, the fingerboard is bound as well with the same uh, ivory binding, same cream binding. Uh, rosewood, fabulous material for a neck or for a fingerboard. We have Grover tuners, as is the case with most of our DBZ guitars. Actually, all of our DBZ guitars, I think, feature Grover tuners, so that's great for you as well. Nice, high, upgraded features. Back of the guitar will be black, matches the neck as well and a nice comfortable feel to this guitar. This combination of features makes this guitar really well suited for a variety of different applications. If you want it to be heavy, it can be heavy. If you want it to be jazzy and bluesy, put it into the right amp and that's how it's gonna sound. But whatever you do, it's, it's gonna sound big, it's gonna sound warm and it's gonna sound full, just like we've been known and accustomed to. So this is the DBZ Bolero EX, new for this year in trans purple. So check it out, ask your local dealer, and enjoy the guitar when you have a chance to get yours soon. Don't forget we have a number of other Bolero videos up or coming up here shortly, so if you want to check out some of the models you'll be able to do that too. Thanks for tuning in to Diamond TV. I'm Jeff Diamond again and this is the Bolero EX in trans purple.